So here's a quick story that was posted on Reddit that apparently is spreading like wildfire across the internet about a guy who was completely disrespected by his wife and her friends trying to get him to pay for some giant dinner and handles it quite well. And of course, because he's young and not quite sure how to handle things, he's wondering if he was in the wrong in the situation, but he actually handled it quite well. Title, Am I the a-hole for only paying for my wife and I at a restaurant? Now listen to this. And let me and one let me ask you if you think his wife really cares or respects him. He says here, I'm 24 years old and my wife is 24 as well. And we are newlywed couples. Smack. You got married at 24 years old. What the hell is the rush? You're you're still kids. Legally, you're not kids, but let's be honest. In today's world, if you're Americans, you're pretty much behaving like you're like you're like kids. My wife has four friends who she's been really close with close with ever since high school. For a celebration, my wife decided to go on an expensive steak dinner. Uh, the day comes, and we go in separate cars there. We all eat, and my wife slides the bill to me for $700 plus and proceeds to say, the man should always pay for the wife and her friends. <laughs> yeah, I'd slide that right back and say, kiss my ass, honey. Good freaking Lord. Now we know why she married him. Obviously, he has some money, comes from money, something along those lines that she could take advantage of him from. I laugh awkwardly saying, why? She says, because I'm the man. I tell her that the only other person I would pay for would be you and me. Her friends proceed to laugh at me, calling me a broke husband. I stand up and put two $100 bills up for me and my wife's food and leave. There you go. Except you should have also left her there as well. In fact, no, what you should have done is put $100 down for him, and that's it, and walked out, and left the friends and the wife there. What kind of freaking wife who loves her husband is going to put him in this situation? One that doesn't love her husband. And notice how the friends are trying to shame him and make him, like, insult his masculinity manhood to pay for them. My wife gets home and starts screaming at me, saying I made her feel embarrassed, how she promised her friends I'd pay. Um, you, you didn't mention that to me on the ride over that I'd be paying for all that. Bullshit. She's got no right to say anything to him. Uh-uh. And that her friends made fun of her on the ride home for marrying a man who can't pay the bill. Here's the deal. He, she looked like a complete ass and she's trying to cover herself. I decided to pack a bag and head to my friend's house. I told my parents and friends and they said that I should just have paid it. Well, smack to the family and friends. See what happens when these young guys are, have the influence of the wrong people, family and friends, tell them, give them bad advice like this. Now I'm having second thoughts if I, if I overreacted. Am I the a-hole? No, you're not the a-hole. And he has a little update here. She's the a-hole. Her friends are a-holes. In fact, everybody, this is like space balls. I'm surrounded by assholes. They're all a-holes. Her, your wife, her friends your friends, your parents. You need to distance yourself from all these people. Annulment, dude. You're recently married. I think you can get annulled. Annulment can go up until like a year or something like that. You were with the wrong girl. And she had the nerve to scream at you? No. You handle this just right. Eh, mostly right. With his update, he says, Hi, guys. I read some comments. If my wife has ever acted like this, and she has never acted that way, which is why I laughed awkwardly. The only other time she did this was when I, when I didn't buy her mom food, which happened when we first started dating, and it was the first time she ever screamed at me like that. Hold on here. It just started dating, you didn't buy her mom food. Was her mom panhandling down down by the fucking Target, and, and she didn't get her a bag of McDonald's food or something, and, she, and you, she, she screamed at you, and you kept dating her? Talk about foreshadowing for the future. Instead of escalating it, I just left. And, we, and when we do argue, it's not screaming match. For how long we've dated, I, I've known her since freshman year in high school and, and got together the junior year. I read some comments and decided to go, go talk to her tomorrow about what happened, why did she do that, etc. I do recognize that I didn't pay the full amount of me and my wife's dinner. I do take fault in that. I should have added another 50 to 75 bucks to make it uh, the price of two people. For the people who say I forgot the tip, I go there regularly with my co-workers, each pay for their own plate, and always leave a good tip. Of course, people in the comments section are going to find some reason in this Reddit to give this guy shit. 
the a-holes the wife the a-hole the friends like i said he's surrounded by a-holes just like in space balls no this guy needs to end it with her this is who she is you don't do this to somebody you love and he's 24 years old a 700 dollars bill Sure, maybe he has a fantastic job. Who knows? Maybe he works for fucking Microsoft or Google as a software engineer. I don't know. Or he's a trust fund brat or something, but doesn't make a difference. They're all a-holes. Cut your losses and move on. Guys, do not let yourself be taken advantage by someone like this. And if your girl does this to you, this is everything you need to know about her and her friends. She's a gold digger. End of story. Cut it loose. But the problem is when people rush into marriage and they think they know somebody and yet they don't. It's amazing to me the shaming tactics they put on him. But at least this guy got up and left. And that's what you always do in a situation you're being taken advantage of. You get up and leave. And leave the situation. Don't stand there and fight and argue with him. I mean, it's just... They're going to do everything they can to throw dirty tricks his way and all that. Nope. It's oftentimes, just the silence is what really makes him crazy. But do not stay with this woman one minute longer. Divorce her. Go to the lawyer's office and figure out what you got to do. Annulment, divorce, whatever, and move on. And don't get involved with someone like this ever again.